Autocomplete's a powerful adjunct to your command line it works something like this. Simply click in the command space here, type in the first few characters, and then after a very brief pause, Autocomplete returns a list of all available commands and system variables that meet the criteria of starting with MI. You can then simply scroll through the list and pick whichever one you want by clicking. Now, let's see how this works behind the scenes so that we can actually control this to our own preferences. So I'll escape, and we'll use the Customize icon here. Autocomplete has a flyout here, and we can see that the reason we get a suggested list of commands is because that's turned on. We can see that the reason we get an auto append, which is after I type in MI, it waits a little while, and then it goes ahead and completes the name out to the next available command in the list, is because auto append is turned on. We see command icons because we've told it to display the icons here, and we had system variables because we told it to appear here. Now, depending on how long you want to wait for autocomplete to come back and how fast a typist you are, you may want to adjust the delay time interval, which is represented here. It defaults to 0.3 seconds, which means after you key in, as soon as it perceives a 0.3 second lag, it will return the list to you via autocomplete. That's why when we type in MI, after a very brief pause, we get this list back. So it's very easy to use this and to tailor it to your specific needs so that you can see exactly what you want, whether you have icons, whether you have system variables, and exactly how long it takes autocomplete to react to you. And that's all there is to using autocomplete at the command line.